All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Gears Tactics Part Twelve. And we have two side missions we need to get through, and I've gone ahead and read them so we know kind of what we were doing. First one is um, another Nemesis Strike, where we have to do the race against time. But in this one, Hammerverse drones get two hundred accuracy, so they're gonna hit when they want. And triple damage to overwatch shots. That is absolutely absurd. And I'm very worried about that one. We cannot deploy this one with any snipers for the bonus. This one we can only bring two people. But the positive modifier is that when your unit gets a kill. It gets 25% chance to gain an action. So if we end up wanting to take two people we can do that. Um, and it's going to be investigating the contents of a case. And then getting back. And then this one is one of the control zone ones. Where you have to control a cargo zo uh, cargo drop site. And enemies get 50% more movement in that one. And we'll have to bring a heavy so Cheetah will go along in that one. As well as Michaela, since we can't bring Michaela on the sniper one. And the two I wanted to do because it has the most to gain, I think. Is Vascar Scavenger, Vascar Scavenger Run. Where the Hammerverse drones are absolutely OP without a sniper. And the Brutal Nightmare, where we deploy our Cheetah and Michaela on this one to go get a Legendary Weapon mod. The reason I'm not really liking this one is because you can only bring two people. And I feel like with only two people, things could go really wrong really fast, and I don't want to mess with that. Um, even though the Hammerverse drones here are going to be absolutely devastating. At least they only get 200 accuracy or triple damage on Overwatch shots. You know what I mean? Overwatch shots hit anyway. And if they take a normal shot, the normal shots won't have triple damage. Only overwatch shots, so... Yeah, we have to work around that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do this one first. Uh, I'm not going to bring Michaela and, and Cheetah, obviously, because they will... We can't bring a sniper, and I need a heavy for the other one. So that means we're going to bring all of our best soldiers except Michaela and Cheetah, because we need to survive this. Gabe, you're in. Sid, you're in. And Gabe and Sid could easily level up from this mission. Um, as long, I was gonna say as long as they survive, but, I mean, the game's over if they don't, so we need to have them survive anyway. Um, okay, we could bring Vandal, and... Do we bring the other support? Do we bring both supports? We're gonna bring Cheetah and Michaela on the other one, but with the other Control Zone one, I think I wanna bring Captain Axe Morgan on that. And, uh... This is also a drink, by the way. This is this is so many things. <laughs> uh, I kind of want to bring, like, I kind of want to bring Badger and Axe on the other mission. So, our best options otherwise would be two scouts, and maybe that'll work out because we're going to be going up against a lot of Overwatch, and maybe scouts with cloak can get around things. I don't like doubling up on the classes, but this might be the correct play. Or do we take Captain Axe Morgan for the heals because these Overwatch shots might be very painful? Sid can also tank. I just really like our chances if we can get to survive with... Like, if we can survive this mission with this squad, I really like our chances at the other one. And I don't know how many Hammer Burst drones there even are going to be. Man. There's no healing here, though. There's no healing skills on this squad. If someone starts getting really hurt, they are in trouble. Other than Sid. Sid can heal himself. Gabe can heal people a little bit, but not much. She's got all the gear. She's even got the hardened helmet. Okay. She needs better armor. Trooper armor, yeah. And then she needs better boots. 7% evasion or 10% evasion with extra shot damage. Let's do that, I guess. Okay. Yep, I'm really scared about this. I think I will end up bringing Captain Axe Morgan. Which means we won't have a healer on the other mission. Man, I don't like that. That's going to be a lot of movement coming in from the other side. And it could get really dicey. Alright, I'm going to bring Spectre. And we are just going to have to survive. 
Two scouts, Sid and Gabe. With Jack. Here we go. <sighs> Against super strong hammer burst drones. Let's launch. We've committed now. This is it. We're in. If we fail this mission by losing Sid or Gabe, that's Good the end news. of the run. We've tracked down some equipment. Bad news. The grubs have the area targeted for bombardment. Hurry and grab those crates. Okay, if we... I hate to say this, but if we are forced to lose somebody at some point, it's got to be Spectre. Level 3s at this point in the game are starting to feel low level. Hopefully we don't lose anybody. Double time it for the equipment case. Alright, three cases. There's five, though. Oh my god. Two... Three, four. They're all kind of in a row, though. We don't have to split up for this one. We can just go for it. I'm listening. Okay. So Overwatch is going to be crazy deadly here. Jack, go two and see what we're working with. Or just grab that case, I guess. And then we'll cloak up. Stay out of trouble, Jack. Okay. Sid. Maybe if we scum the movement, we can get there in two movement. Nice. Okay, nothing yet. Set up an overwatch. Move her there. Good. Whew, I did not want to discover an enemy right there. Okay, she can't reach. Can Gabe reach that? He can. Okay. That gives us an idea for what we want to do here. Okay. There's our first movement. You're not going to be able to move much more than that. Where did Jack get that extra movement from? Alright, here they come. Oh my god, and it's got a Deviant Drone too? That's messed up. That is messed up. So we're dealing with triple Overwatch damage drones. Oh my god. And it actually still caught up with us. How crazy is that? Wow. This is shocking, actually. Vandal, what do you got? 66. That's pretty decent. Ah, partial hit. That's not it. That is not what we needed. I'm listening. She can get here in two. Okay. Alright, this time he's going down. Good. Hostile down. Okay. Jack. Oh boy. Oh boy. On standby. Sid, 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 Sid. Oh, he's so close. I bet if we scum some movement, we can get there. There we go. Okay, I don't want to have to deal with the wretches or these deviant drones if I can avoid it. There we go, perfect. Clean. You or me, asshole. And then Gabe. He could move and then move again. Just moving to Overwatch there, for example. Jack. Jack, 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 Jack. Jack. Let's do cloak. We might never be this close up again. Like, together, I mean. Like, grouped up like this. Let's do that. See if they're willing to shoot with their plus 200 accuracy. Good assist, Jack. And then cloak with Jack. Jack's cloaked. Gabe will grab this so we can knock that out. Beautiful. And then full cover right here. 
Oh, he's got another action. Oh, hell yeah. Here we go. Some area denial. Oh, he went around the other way. Okay, partial hit. We're fine with that. Nice interrupt. Big overwatch right there, but we can get rid of that. Okay, good. We have a turn. We don't need to move if we absolutely don't have to. Okay, this disabling shot should be free. Yeah, 100%. Good. Wait, what overwatch? He's on overwatch too? Excuse me? Go ahead. Are you serious? Alright, disabling... Not distraction. Disabling shot him. 90%. Good. Nice interrupt. And then Gabe can take his. Yeah, these overwatches are going to be a lot, but we got this. Good. Okay, now people can move again. Scout on standby. We do like being able to move. On my way. We can double shot this. He's done. With a crit, no less. Okay, Spectre. Out of commission. She needs a reload soon. Jack does need to move, though. All right, Jack. Go ahead and cloak right there. Looks like we didn't need that barrier after all, but oh well. Moving. Can you bayonet? You can. All right, we've got a bayonet if we need it. Let's do it. Lancer shot right here for free. 55% crit chance. Beautiful. Beautiful. Love that. Really love that. Things are going well. Moving. Anything? No. Alright, so far so good. More drops. Okay, bunch more drones. Yeah, they're just gonna throw a bunch of drones at us in this mission, aren't they? Oh, that's a sniper drone, though. Okay. Jack has to stay on the move here. Let's make it happen. Can't see him from there, huh? It's unfortunate. And from there we can't see him? That seems iffy. I'm listening. Yes. Okay, I oh my goodness, don't click on him. Right here is probably a great spot for her. And she could two shot. Understood. Which means this guy's dead. Or we could kill a drone instead. Oh, wait a minute. More options than I was at first considering. Okay, first let's move here. Let's empower... All right, um, let's do this. Vandal. And teamwork on Vandal. And Vandal should be able to get two kills here, I would think. Let's see if she can get a hit here. 81% feels really nice. Damn. Really? That does suck, actually. That is a big damn. Waiting orders. Sid, Sid, Sid. What do you see? What do these eyes of yours see? Uh -huh. Alright, let's do the double shot here. 
Nice. And then you. Oh, didn't get the kill. Disappointing. That's alright, she's got one more turn, so we can just frag grenade instead. And then that'll be three kills. Outgoing frag. And then there's just a sniper drone, which doesn't have all this extra Solid buffs. 55% crit. Get him out of there. Things are going smooth right now. Love it. Okay, those are the three required crates. Now we can start moving for the last two and to finish this. So far, so good. Could be a lot worse. Start moving Sid over here. Heads up. Locust activity. Coming in hot. All right, not too bad though. We're still doing really well on this. I'm on it. Nothing, huh? Uh-huh. If there's no enemy... No, I still won't put him like that. That's just asking for trouble. Let's put her here and reload. She needs to reload. Or I could always use lock and load with Gabe next turn. And just have that be her reload. Let's look at that option. Oh, he can't reach, really. Damn. I don't think this will help him reach, but we'll try it. Yeah, it's just too far away. Okay. Ready. Let me move her forwards. Full cover right there. Jack. It looks like we're good. Good movement on that turn. Turn tap com on. I don't know why that's off. Standing by. Yeah, I still don't like it enough. Let's just Overwatch. On the lookout. Let's see what they got. All right, five more drones. We're making good pace. They're not caught up to any of us yet. That's Let's good. I'm listening. No frag grenade. Reporting in. Yeah, we can lock and load here. Sure. All in. Let's go. Let's do it. Nothing to save this for. Might as well use it. Everybody reload and get your extra damage in. Okay. This grenade needs to reach. I'm afraid it won't. Moving. Let's see if the grenade gets buffed as well from lock and load. Possibly. Hold up, there was one where I got three with it. There it is. Let's go! Bang! Keep them coming. We're making a count right now. Okay, he can go ahead and grab this case then. There it is. Take a full cover right here. And overwatch here in case they try something sneaky. We're covered over here. Support on hand. Okay, so we got these three left. Ah, no one movement, huh? Okay. Mm. Uh, I might use a shot capsule here, if I'm honest. Make sure they don't move. There you go. I didn't have a reason not to. And that means she can move up here with impunity. Taking position. Nothing's gonna stop her. 
getting rusty. Oh, the 79% miss, though. That's less than ideal. He'll grab the crate soon. Go ahead and cloak up. See you, Jack. All right, they can still do things. They just can't move. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> can't blame them for that one. Luckily, though. This will do it just fine. No! Fire in the hole. Holy shit, this game. Sometimes, man, nope. sometimes. I swear. Good shot. Ooh! Spectre! Still missed out on some game experience there, but damn. Dude, that grenade, that was tilting. That grenade should not have played out like that. Here. You gotta be so crazy careful that your mouse doesn't move just like a millimeter and ruin it. Okay, let's keep moving, Jack. Let's get everybody over to Sid as fast as we can. Should be next turn, I would think. I think we got it. I panicked a lot more because I thought that grenade was going to end up being way worse off for us. But Spectre made that work a lot better than it could have. Enemy reinforcements incoming? No, they're not. We're out of here. In transit. We are out. See ya. Good. That could have gone a lot worse. Out we go. Well done, Sid. Well done, everybody. This should level up Gabe and Sid. Hopefully Gabe didn't miss his level up because of that grenade shenanigans. Epic Power Bolts. 60 damage and minus 2 ammo. That's interesting. If that's not a sniper, it's not worth it because the sniper only has 3 ammo as is. Oh, man. All right, he wasn't crazy close anyway, it looks like, so maybe he wouldn't have leveled up even with the grenade. But fair enough, I guess. Spectre did work out there for being level 3? Okay, Spectre. Make me eat my words from the beginning of that mission. We only had 15 kills. That's pretty light for this game. Sid level 5, though. That's huge. Pumped about that. Let's open up 6 rare cases. Looking for helmets more than anything. Oh, at the start of your turn, this unit heals 10% of its maximum health if this unit, re unit received any damage during the most recent enemy turn. So it only triggers if you get hit. Uh, it's still pretty good, but not as good as it initially looked. Swift, no. Moving on. Long shot mod, maybe. Lancer mod, maybe. Mulcher mod. At the start of your turn, this unit gets 25% crit until it gets its first crit. That's right. And then, frag grenade mod, 75 damage. Hey, we finally have a frag mod. Look at that. Yeah, so Gabe and Sid and all them are out for the next mission. True. Can't even look at their gear, really? Wow. Okay. Well, I guess I'm not going to look at their gear, then. Michaela. Yeah, this is not worth it. One ammo for 60 more damage? That's awful. Why is that epic? It's definitely not. Here we go. More damage. We take that. Um, she doesn't need the frag grenade mod. Other people need that more. Cheetah. 30 damage or 25% crit chance until you get your crit. I actually want that more. 30 less damage, yeah, but to get like a really good crit chance? That's nice. Because crits do so much. 
Uh, he's got 30 health, but he could have the 20 health with self-repair. I could probably give it to someone else, though, I guess. Oh, self-repair would probably be good for scouts. I don't know if that counts, though. Captain Axe Morgan. The 7% precision? Yeah, do that. 50% accuracy, damn. Oh, wait a second. She actually has skills, so we should give her the diagnostic scope. Yeah. Healing skills get plus 20%. Absolutely. Put that on. Alright, and then she can have... Self-repair is more important than a magazine extension, I feel. Badger needs some stuff. I mean, something's better than nothing. Give him that blast zone helmet. And let's give him some better boots. He can have the Delta Straps and the Commando Vest. Might as well. Those are the rare gear we have left. Give them the odds and ends. Okay, and it looks like we won't be able to... Oh, we can level him up. Alright. So, Sid, level 5. When he's in the downstate at the beginning of your turn, he revives. That's crazy. Distraction has a cooldown reduced by 2. Um, what were we looking at? Assault, I think. Yeah, we were looking at Assault for sure. This one's absurd, because you'll never miss 1,000 HP. I can't imagine having 1,000 HP on somebody. But still, just being able to have this one, where he does time and a half extra damage equal to how much health he's missing, up to 500. I could see that one coming in play. When he shoots an enemy with less than half health, it gets plus 30% damage. Intimidate to get people out of cover and interrupt them. Rage shot. Pretty early, honestly. Enraged bait that no... Expertise. Within effective range, gets 25% crit. Hemorrhage, so that he can make the bleed happen. Avenger. When an ally takes damage, he gets extra damage to a maximum of four stacks. And when it's downed, he gets an action. When an ally dies, he gets three. See, this is this tree just seems so like, when things are going wrong, like really wrong, he can try to bounce us back into things. And I really like that. We'll take this eventually, I'm sure. I, I rarely use Distraction. Like, I've used it, like, what, twice the whole playthrough? Let's start going towards Assault here. Intimidate. And Executioner. 30% more damage against things that have low health. Rage Shot and Expertise will be really uh, nice next time. Level 5, Sid. Okay. Yeah, level 4 is just such a big level up. Level five's not as big. Alright. And so next time, we'll go ahead and do Brutal Nightmare. Where we're going to be bringing Michaela, Cheetah, Captain Axe Morgan, and Badger. And we're going to have to hold those zones. And they're going to be fast. They're going to be really fast. Alright, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving a like. And if you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. Either way, thank you so much for joining me on this journey in Gears Tactics. I know I say it every time, but I'm loving it. I hope you are too. I'll see all of you for our other side mission for a legendary mod next time.